Peace, family. This is Lions Den with another news and commentary. Uh, we have a situation going on in the country of Haiti right now. Um, a, a violent protest happens across Port-au-Prince. Um, rioting broke, broke, breaking out in some areas because of the higher gas prices by the new sworn in prime prime minister of Haiti. So I'm going to um, thanks to David Love. Um, who did this article from the Atlanta Black Star. I'm going to read this article to you, and then I'm going to play some videos of the situation in the country of Haiti. So here, here we go. On Monday, workers in Haiti shut down the capital of Port-au-Prince as protesters were held across the country against auster austerity measures in the Caribbean nation. The protests began Friday as Haitians watched the World Cup game between Brazil and Belgium when the government announced dramatic increase to fuel prices in connection with austerity measures impo imposed on behalf of the International Monetary Fund, which is the IMF. Several people have been killed with, from the violence that followed with luxury hotels targeted, targeted and airlines canceled flights to Haiti. Although fuel prices hikes, which were canceled amid public pressure, per precipitated the demonstration oil is only part of the story. Calling from calm, Prime Minister Guy Levante temporarily halted the fuel prices increases, which includes a 38% hike for ga gasoline, 47% for diesel, and 51% for kerosene, as CNN reported. I'm going to stop right there. This is the same guy that's been just been sworn in as the Prime Minister of Haiti, and he's doing this. I'm just letting you know that. So I'm going to continue with this article. I ask for your patience because our administration have a vision and clear program, Levantin says, in an announcement on state television. In his statement, the leader defended the agreement with the IMF, which would have called for an end to public subsidies from petroleum products and would have provided the country with an initial $96 million in loans and grants from the IMF and World Bank. Levantin said Haiti has the lowest oil prices in Latin America among non-petroleum producing nations. A neighboring Dominican Republic which shares the island of Hispaniola with Haiti, oil prices with, are 43% higher. Making a case for prices hikes while Haitians were watching soccer, Finan Finance Minister Jude Alix Patrick Solomon had argued the subsidies heavily burdened Haitians' cash-hungry e economy and only 25% of Haitians and benefited from the lowest prices. Roads and intersections were barricaded, and stores and car windows in the fluent section of Port-au-Prince were reported smashed. We understand your right to protest to vindicate, but we do not understand violence, said Haitian National Police Director Miguel Ange Guillon on the report killing of the police policemen. The director said also reported that several police cars and at least two Police stations were burned. So I'm going to go ahead and play Al Jazeera's coverage of the situation in Haiti. And I'm going to, get, I'm going to continue to finish in, um, the rest of my commentary. The outrage was immediate. Fires set, roads blocked. Protesters say they can't afford Haiti's new fuel prices. With chaos out on the street of the capital, Port-au-Prince, several people decided to spend the night at work. Many businesses closed their doors. My wife is going to deliver our baby. She needs a cesarean. But every hospital we go to, we can't find a doctor because of the protests. I don't know what to do. The government announced an increase of up to 50% for diesel, gasoline and kerosene. But the hike, a liter of diesel, will now cost $4, nearly $5 for regular gas. In a country where about 80% of workers earn less than $2 a day, the news wasn't received well. We're speaking up against the president. He hasn't delivered on the promises he made during his campaign. From food to job creation, we haven't seen anything since he came into power. President Jovenel Moise took office last year, promising to improve the economy. The government says this move is part of that process. In February, Haiti's government agreed to reduce fuel subsidies in exchange for aid from the International Monetary Fund. 
Some protesters say they are tired of empty promises. They fear more prices will go up while their wages stay the same. Katia Lopez Odoyan, Al Jazeera. Okay, now you, okay, you just saw this video here that this new president who's been sworn in last year promised the Haitian people that their you know their the change is going to be happening in the country, but unfortunately it ha it hasn't. You see, all them gas prices has been going up, and and they try to make a deal by the IMF to do to to try to make changes in that country. Remember, Haiti is the most poorest country in the world, and they've been they've been through a lot. You know, a couple of years ago, they've been through the most horrific earthquake in 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 history, and now you and now you want to raise these gas prices, and people couldn't afford food, shelter, and water. So you know, as you as you as you saw in this video, that you know, the the country of Haiti has been shut down. Um, you got you see hotels um, been um, flights have been canceled through, from, to Haiti and. And especially in the capital of Port-au-Prince. So this is very a, a, a crazy situation that we're seeing here in the country of Haiti. Um, you see a lot of you see a lot of tourism are going straight down because of this this violent protest over there. So the way I see it, ladies and gentlemen, that pro, that the country of Haiti is in turmoil, and basically you see. Um, pre the president making promises he couldn't keep, and and the people of Haiti is fed up with it. They're really fed up, and as you see, you see rioting, and you see a lot of police stations have been burned to the to the ground because of the riots in the, in the country of Haiti. Now, I and again you have people like and they just sworn in making promises. So it's like puppets. They're putting puppets in the country of Haiti, trying to make things better, but instead it make things a whole lot worse. Um, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, like I said before, I'm going to go ahead and play another video. And this is another video um, of what's going on in Haiti. So bear with me. Okay, this is another video of the situation in Haiti. This is from Global News. Global News is a Canadian news broadcaster company, and it shows what's going on in Haiti. And as you can see, because um, I'm going to try to ignore the, um, try to edit it, this commercial here. But um, as you can see, the United Nations truck is already in Haiti, try to restore order. But unfortunately, um, as you can see, Haitian people are fed up with the situation there. With gas prices there, so I'm gonna go ahead and play this video and give you the rest, the finishing, the rest of my commentary. Car Week is back with Speed Demons. We just had the ultimate land speed record. Truck wars. Trucks are what makes America run. Hot rod and muscle cars. They commercialize. Give me a second because it's playing a commercial here. So, you don't have to worry about the price. It happens. So, just give me one second so you can go ahead and play this, play this car the situation in Haiti. On now on history. Okay, sorry, folks, um, for the commercial, but um, here's the actual video. This is from Global News, like I said, from the Canadian Broadcasting Company of the situation in Haiti. Here it is. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, people in Haiti are suffering because they couldn't afford getting food, water, and when you raise the gas prices, what 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 can Haitian people do? And you saw on the previous video from Al Jazeera, a man saying she's trying to have a C-section on his wife, having a baby, and they couldn't afford having you know going to the hospital because of these high, higher gas prices. So it's really, really concerning, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on in the country of Haiti. Um, again, we're just basically trying to figure out 
and the, I guess the president is trying to do what he can, but unfortunately, the people don't trust their government now. They don't trust what they're doing in the country of Haiti. So you see, that's why you see protests across the country, especially in capital Port-au-Prince, rioting breaks out in some areas. So because they need a change, and unfortunately, they they mis they can trust their government, um, doing doing the right thing. So. With that, so that's what's happening in Haiti. Um, this is really a sad situation over there, and un until until the, the new president do what's right by the people of Haiti, protests like this will continue to happen, and riots will continue to happen until changes in the country of Haiti needs to happen. Leave me your thoughts. Tell me what you think about this video. Share this video and, and story. Subscribe my subscribe my YouTube channel. Subscribe my reaction channel. And subscribe my Black Junction channel for more news and commentary. With that being said, this is Lions Den signing off. Deuces.